Yo, 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 it's your boy, Eddie Stark, coming to you live from the pad, about to give it to you raw, and I'm going to keep it 1,000. So, there's been a lot going on since I made my last video. There was a cryptic tweet by Jeannie Buss, where she put out this tweet that was saying that she misses Kobe. Now, most people, you know, I know it's a lot of Jeannie Buss fans that are my subscribers. You guys like to, you know, that's your favorite person in the world and all of that, but Y'all remember when I did that Jim Buss uh, Lakers scapegoat video? That's in my uh, that's in the playlist. You, you guys want to watch that? That's an oldie but goodie. But uh, I think it was a shot at LeBron. It was definitely a shot at LeBron and Clutch. Even though she didn't say it was Clutch, and I think what she misses about Kobe was Kobe was more, you know, he was gonna tell you everything. And he was going to tell you why he wanted things to happen the way that he wanted to happen. Whereas LeBron, he has a stronghold over the team. That's the way it is. You know, um, for instance, his he has he qualifies a sign for an extension. I believe it's like August the 4th. But if the Lakers don't do anything and they don't get Kyrie Irving by August 4th, uh, that can pretty much determine whether he's going to sign an extension with the Lakers or not because he desperately wants uh, Kyrie Irving and then you guys saw what happened at the Summer League right where you had, you had LeBron on one side and you had uh, Russell Westbrook on the other side right and, and it was like how come these guys ain't talking about t talking to each other last year they was buddy buddy they was all you know cool and all of that now they're sitting across from each other and they ain't even making eye contact or even talking to each other. So people are asking, man, like, what's the deal with that? And I, I think it's a huge deal. I mean, if you if you look, if you know somebody at work and you go out in public and y'all don't speak to each other in public, y <laughs> you know, you at an amusement park or you at somewhere else with your family, whatever. Hey, you, you must feel some kind of way. So I think it's the same thing. But. They were at a company event, you know, they're they're at a summer league game where so I think there's there's some some raw emotions that West Westbrook feels because it's like, hey, look, despite all of that talk, despite all that crap, you know, you invite me to your house and there's like having cigars and wine and champagne and all of that stuff, you know, ultimately because I had a bad season and it didn't it, it didn't work out. You're already looking for the next thing smoking, which is Kyrie Irving. And you want Kyrie Irving on the team, which means I have to go. So if Kyrie Irving is coming to the team and I have to go, you know, this is this is a, a, this is a disaster because I just I just basically chopped it up with Darvin Ham. And y'all heard about the things at Darvin Ham, but I think that's a little bit, you know, it's cap. It's like, oh, I'm going to have him play defense and oh, I'm going to have, you know, it's. That was part of him getting the job. They wanted to know, hey, look, just in case we don't have a trade lined up and all else fails, can you take Russell Westbrook and transform him? And could you be the Rus Russell Westbrook whisperer to kind of get him back on track to where, um, you know, he balls out? And throughout this whole summer league, you're seeing Sean Marks. He's talking with different general managers. And you even see Woj. Adrian Wojnarowski is kind of like walking around talking to different people. But, um, you know, ultimately what it's about is, hey, you know, we already know what the Nets want. The Nets want a couple draft picks. Um, they want probably a third team involved to, to absorb Westbrook's salary. And uh, they want the Lakers to take on another shitty salary. They want them to take Joe Harris's salary. I gotta excuse me. I got my baby in the back, so <laughs> baby sitting and shoot making videos. But um, yeah, man. So 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 the thing is, you know, we already know what the Nets want, and the Lakers are kind of running it like, hey, look, poker. Look, nobody else wants Kyrie. We can kind of hold out. There's no rush. If you think about it, there really isn't a rush. The only rush is that August fourth thing. Where, uh, you know, LeBron has, you know, LeBron can sign that that extension. But if he chooses not to, that kind of hurts the Lakers, right? But, you know, I, I, I can really go at depth 
uh, what I really think about everything, but I'm not going to really get into that. But long story short, I think that we do need to sign Kyrie. I need to. I, th I do think we need to make the moves necessary to uh, get Kyrie Irving because the picks that we have, these are like 2029, 20, 2030. Um, who knows where we'll be? You know, um, at this point, LeBron's gonna be far gone. <laughs> you know, we're no longer on the team. So, you know. The way that I feel, I feel like the Lakers need to make this deal because it, 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 to go for it with Westbrook, knowing that LeBron is already aged, you know, he's he's an aging uh, superstar. You got to do what you got to do. And I forgot, man, Scotty Pippen Jr., man, this cat's balling out, man. I'm about to watch the um, summer league game tonight. I'm about to watch the summer league game tonight. He's one of my favorite uh, guys in the summer league, just period. Like, I like the way that he plays, and I think that he's he's adding on to his game as far as, like, he's always been a guy that's a quick scoring punch, but I think the fact that he he's adding a lot, he's adding a little bit of a being a facilitator to his game. I think it's like, wow. And it was crazy as I was watching Skip Bayless, and Skip Bayless is like, man, this kid is going to mess around and get into the rotation um, and pr pretty much I'll play uh, Westbrook. Now, I don't know about that, but he's pretty damn good, man. If you just sit and watch the uh, Summer League games, he's pretty good, man. He's a pro. He's definitely a pro. You know, if the Lakers don't grab him up, somebody's going to grab him up. And we also had this kid named Cole Sweeter. Cole Sweeter out of Syracuse. This dude, I mean, this dude is like Mike Miller. He's a gunner, he's 6'9", and his shot, his shot is not broken. You know, I won't get into, I won't get into Max Christie, but Cole Sweeter, that dude is a gunner. He's a truth. Here, yeah, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that ends everything, you know, because I got to uh, take care of business. With the little one, but uh, give me a guy, give me your guys' thoughts, man. I mean, leave a, a comment below, like, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think of everything that's going on. You know, I pretty much think that the Lakers need to pull the trigger, they need to make it happen, and uh, we need to just get this thing going. But I know first things first is that the Nets are trying to trade Kevin Durant, they're trying to get him off the books first, and I'm out.